the heat's really taken it out of us today and John wasn't feeling too great. Everyone's had to have a bit of chill out time, but we've, we've made a start. The alphabet has begun, the mural has begun. I'm about to do this um, outline for the, my letters, which are Q-U, no, Q-R-S-T-U. I'm going to invite the kids to come along and paint uh, animals or things that they like or fruits that they like, starting with the letter V and then X, Y, and Z down to the end. And so then every panel will be dedicated to a letter of the alphabet. It should look pretty cool. So today we're going to collect the Kid Robot monies from the office and find a way to transport them to the school because all we have are bikes and so the large cartons are going to be kind of an ordeal to carry but we're going to find a way. It's now about 20 to 4, class starts at 3.30 and we're, we're two artists down. So uh, we've lost Jesse and Aaron, they went to um, grab some supplies and seem to have got lost. Oh, I think I see the artists. I think I see we have our two teachers. <laughs> you made it! We thought we'd lost you. <laughs> we have our two teachers. So the class, the classes can begin. It's been about seven or eight months of planning and it's almost about to start. Yeah, we're just, just kind of arranging where we are at and um, waiting for a few kids to turn up and then um, everyone's going to be yeah, rolling, rolling on with the classes. So. We're getting ready for our class uh, first day with the students. We're currently just setting up all the materials. Um, we're going to start with having them sketch on paper and also these templates that we printed out right here so that they can get an idea of what they're going to do before they actually apply it to the actual money itself. <laughs> I've spoken at schools, elementary kids, junior high kids, and high school, but nothing like this, you know? This is kind of cool. Yeah, the one word I can use to describe this whole experience is that it's super humbling. It makes you really take account of the life that we have back home. So once we leave Mesa and go back to the States and New Zealand, um, all the artists will create um, two big pieces of work inspired by, you know, our dreams and, you know, inspired by this project um, and our experiences here and, you know, we're going to take home some of the kids' drawings as well and auction that off, auction off our artwork, um, some of our monies, custom monies, and also the kids' monies that they painted, um, photography from this trip, and all of that will happen in New Zealand and in the States. And all the funds raised, will, everything will go to the kids. The highlight would be working with the kids and doing the art classes. But yeah, my dream would probably be to keep on doing this and it's amazing to be able to use my, my passion to uh, try to help other people. Last night we went to uh, this activist group out of Burma who leverage art and music in order to bring attention to the political s situation in Burma. And there they were trying to get across this message to push democracy, to bring light of the situations in Burma where free speech is prohibited pretty much. 
These people deserve it just as much as anyone else, just to have a voice, to be able to go out and, and have choice. The Generation Wave, to, to promote democracy and try and especially to reach the youth, they use a lot of, um, a lot of methods um, that are similar in line to what we do with Spinning Top and Little Lotus. So they use art, they use music, they use poetry, they use graffiti, all to reach um, the youth of Burma. Just from meeting Generation Wave, it's really going to make me consider about what, what my artwork is saying, like what's the message behind it. They had such a, a valuable thing to say with, with what they were doing with their um, music and their art. And For all the artists, when they met the Generation Wave crew, I think it was pretty huge just hearing the story of the Generation Wave um, and how they don't have the freedom to make music, to do art, to spread message that, you know, they can't talk openly about democracy. Um, they talked about one of their um, members just got 140 years in prison for handing out leaflets. Um, and for the American artists, hearing that, you know, the thought that they couldn't do music or they couldn't do art just, yeah, really hit home with them about how bad the situation is and how free we are in, in most of the countries we live in. I feel that they will do anything in their power to stand up for what they believe in. They um, want to uh, bring democracy and freedom of speech to their people. Just let's talk, let's open the discussion about what's happening in Myanmar because it gets swept under the carpet a little bit. <laughs> Lord, that's what you're, Lord, that's what you're, Lord, that's what you're, 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 that's what you